So Daniel, can you explain what Bemberg estates have done in terms of planting per um, soil depth? Okay, Amanda, that, what we did was first of all to study the depth of the, of the soil. We have a very nice chance here in Guadalajara because we have a, in Guadalajara three layers of, of soil, one topsoil, uh, which is mostly sand, then we have a, a short strip of calcium carbonate, what we call caliche, which is a deposit of calcium carbonate. And then we have gravel, on, say up to seven meters, eight meters, we, we, we drag the, uh, when we build the, the winery and when we saw that it was mostly the same all the whole way down. Uh -huh. So, with this possibility to study the depth using a penetrometer, which is a, like a needle that goes into the sand and touch the, the stone, and we can measure the depth 10 meters by 10 meters. So we can make a three-dimensional study of the, of the soil. So we have different depths from 0 to 20 centimeters down to 1.20 1.50 centimeters. And that's the topsoil of sand before you reach the caliche? Yes. Okay. And with this study of the depth, together with Marcelo Belmonte, our uh, agronomic viticulturist, uh, we decided to do a different uh, distance or uh, bind density into the vineyard. So we have in the dead soils, the, the, the blue ones, let's say, we have more uh, space between vines. So the space in between rows is the same, it's steady. But we change the uh, space between vines to modify the vine density. So we can see 7B, for instance. 7B is Malbec, it's a selection from Vista Flores, planted. Uh, on a rooftop, 101, 14 millar bed, and the vine density is 8,162 plants per hectare. But if we go from 7B to 7C, which is 40 to 60 centimeters, 7C is Malbec, the selection from Guadalajara, same rooftop, but 10,000 vines per hectare. And we can go down to 11,000 vines per hectare in 11, for instance. You know? All these yellow and orange uh, spots of soil, that means that we have from 20 to 40 centimeters of depth. It's very, very shallow. Then we, we have to go uh, in higher vine density, you know? we Excellent. go to up to one, uh, so 11,000 vines per hectare. And why do you need um, higher vine density in deeper soils? Sorry, well, opposite uh, way around. Higher vine density in shallower soils. Okay. The higher vine density in shallower, it is because the, the roots will have uh, less space to explore. Uh -huh. and it's, a, it's a soil which is very, uh, with very low vigor, as we can say. In the deeper soils, we have more space for the root zone, and the vines will be happier, and they will express themselves in, in, with bigger canopy, and obviously with more chances to get higher uh, yields. Okay. So we separate the vines uh, in, in wider spaces, but in, a, in the shallower places, well, we have small vines and very stressed and we have lower yields. So the idea is to have more or less the same yield per hectare, but different yields per vine. And this is the main difference that we were uh, working on here. And in, the, in terms of the taste of the wine in your glass, comparing a Malbec from the poor soils, uh, the shallow soils compared to a Malbec from the deeper soils, how do they taste different in the glass? Uh, it's a very nice question because uh, we always thought that the grapes coming from vines cultivated in shallow soils, which are more stressed, 
will give us wines um, of better quality. And I don't. I think that probably this, the, the terms of quality is, is something which is very, at some point, uh, not so good for the wine. Mm -hmm. Because there are different types of wines and different types of, of quality, we can say. So what we feel is in, in shallower soils, the vines are more stressed and the tannins are more reactive. So the wines coming from these shallower soils reacts a lot with your tongue and your saliva. Uh -huh. And you have um, uh, the, sen the sensation in the mouth, which is more, a little bit more dry. If we go into the deeper soils where the vines are more happy and less stressed, we have less tannins, more less reactive tannins uh -huh. in your mouth. So you have less re reactivity with your tongue and saliva, and the, the wine flows more smooth. Smooth wines. Um, I don't really think that this is more quality or the other one. I, I really don't know. Yeah, they're it's just different a qualities. Of taste. Yeah. <laughs> The idea is to play with that and try to communicate that we, we have a terroir in, at some point. And it's, a, it's a property of uh, 90 hectares in which the, the, the newer uh, soils, the, the newer plantings with this new uh, way of planting are uh, in, in about 60 hectares and we can have like say 20, 25 types of soils and combination of uh, the same uh, uh, muscle selections that we made, rootstocks, depth, uh, unrooted. So we have a, a lot of things to play, and that's the idea, no? With, uh, with Bember, no? to explore and to extract the best of the place. This is the idea for you. Excellent. Thank you.